Okay everybody, it's DJ Root here, and today I have a new toy. That's right. It's the Global Truss. It's a plasma mount, basically. It's called the GT Plasma MT-12. And uh, as you can see here, I have a 32 inch, I'm sorry, it's a 37 inch Sharp Equos. And we're gonna mount it on here. Comes with this bar here. And uh, this basically mounts like that, as you can see. Clamps on. And then these clamps here mount to the TV. But we have a problem. And that problem is this. See how close? Well, see how dusty it is back there? Because I had a regular wall mount on it. Uh, and it needs to be wiped off. But anyway, see how close those are together? Well, if you put this over here like this, this is how it mounts on, right? Like this, okay? It mounts on like that. And see those bolts there? They're almost like right on top of where the mounting uh, holes are for the TV. So that means that these here won't fit. They're obviously, these nuts right here with the wing nut on it, or the, the bolt with the wing nut on it, those are definitely too big to fit into this little tiny hole right here. So we're gonna have to improvise. Which means I'm gonna have to make a bracket. Just set this down here. I'm gonna have to make a bracket that comes out to about here, attaches to this, screws in here, and comes out to about here on each side. That way we can mount these straight to it. And I have just something for that. Right now, and I don't recommend this, but for right now we're gonna use this piece of wood. It's solid, it's heavy duty, it will hold it. I'm gonna drill it right through this here. What this is, it's part of a door jam. From a job that I did, I'm a contractor. I installed a door, but I didn't need the whole door jam. So anyway, this will add some extra thickness to it, right here, because it's got the stop on it. Um, but later I'm gonna get uh, a, a solid thick piece, like a 132, a uh, piece of solid aluminum and I'll do the same thing but for now we're going to use this and what we're going to do is we're going to mount it as you can see like this we're going to mount it to the TV here and then we're going to drill holes on each side of it over here so that those brackets down there will screw right into it okay be back in a moment okay so what we've done here is we got the original base plate from the TV. This TV used to be mounted over my fireplace. And we got the piece of wood, the door jam. And don't worry about this for right now. Uh, you know, most of your people aren't gonna see it because it's gonna be facing you. And like I said, I'm gonna replace it later. But look at how it has a nice fit inside of the bracket, the TV bracket that I picked up, I think at Best Buy or something a couple years ago. So I'm gonna just put some screws in in those four places as you can see just for stability and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna remove those screws that screw and I'm gonna put some uh, screws right into it for stability then we're gonna drill holes on either side to accommodate these brackets right here see the wing nuts on them okay so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to measure to make sure that it's right You get your tape measure here, and you measure this. This says 10 and a quarter, right? And this is 11 and a half, so that means it's gotta go over this way some. Let's go ahead and do that. Don't mind my little uh, workshop, garage, hobby, DJ, and office. <laughs> anyway, and this is uh, my work table for right now. So what we want to do is, I've already measured it out, we need to be 10 and, a, and 3 quarters on each side. And we got that, so let's go ahead and uh, drill the holes. Okay, so what I've done is I've drilled out little notches right here. 
as you can see. And if you're wondering what that's for, I'll show you. See these bolts that stick up right here? See that lip on each side? Well, it wouldn't let me get the wood past it. I didn't want to bend the lips. So, as you can see, I line it up like this. Put it in there, and damn, it fits right in there. So I'll be able to put screw through the top here. Screws through the top here, let me see. Screws through the bottom. And some short screws in the back, just for integrity. Like I said, I don't recommend using wood, but that's what we're gonna do for right now. You know, I'm comfortable enough to know it's strong enough to hold it. So now I'm gonna drill holes for the clamps. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our drill here and uh, we're gonna put some screws through the wood here, as you can see, right through the plate and into the wood. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use some standard gold screws, number six by two inch. Take them and we'll put them in screw sleeve like such and then we'll just drill them in just like this bam there's one there's two but you gotta be careful here because it's kind of pulling it away from the other side we don't want to end up ripping the, the wood out. So let's, let's go ahead and put the screws on the rear side now. Because obviously you can see that there is a, a gap between them. So whichever side you put in first is going to pull it toward that side. And can lead to stripping it out. We don't want to do that. We don't want a krasma, a krasma, a plasma crashing on the floor. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put that all the way in. One more here. As you can see, or as you can hear, I listen to all kinds of music. Okay, so here we are. We got four screws in here. And uh, I could put a couple more on here, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm just going to put like a couple on this side uh, in the back. And you're probably wondering, those are two inch screws and that piece of wood you have is less than half an inch thick. Well, you'd be right if you thought that and I'll explain. Let's go ahead and put that in there. See that? Let's do it again. Okay, I think those two are gonna be good enough that's where you get your good old electrician's dikes. My Kleins here, I use them at work. And snip them off. One, two, three. And it does take a little bit of strength, so if you don't have it, then you better get somebody that can do it for you. I just snip them off. And I'm kinda in a precarious angle here because of uh, being next to the stopper here. So let's go ahead and bend it a little bit and then we can get in, get a better bite on it. And one, two, three, sucker's dust. So there you have it. So now the plate is mounted to the wood. Now we're gonna put the clamps on to put the, the mount onto the truss itself. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured from here out to here five inches on each side. And I'm gonna drill the holes. Use our DeWalt here. Okay. Nice clean hole. As you can see, it goes th right through the inside of the thick piece here, the stopper, the door jam, to give it some extra integrity. And we'll do the same thing right here. There's the mark. Go 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and get ready to, to put the mount on. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the mount for the TV on there with the clamps for the bar. So now all we gotta do is mount it on the TV. So let's get the bar on there. Get it mounted on the TV. Or we'll mount this on and then we'll get the bar mounted on there. Then we'll mount the damn thing on the truss. How's that? Awesome. Okay, so as you can see, I've mounted the bracket on the back. Zoom in on it here. So now I'm gonna put the bar on it and we'll mount it on the teeth on the truss. Alright, so as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Hmm. Kind of borrowing an idea from Mikey Mike doing it from scratch, but I've been doing stuff from scratch for many, many years. And uh, Mikey Mike's really good at doing this. And this is my first do it from scratch video. Well, no, I guess I did the, I've done some in the past where I built the facade and uh, I haven't done one on this. I built this myself. This is for my karaoke and video mixing smaller TV, but it's, I use it more for a karaoke monitor and as a, uh, as a free video mixing monitor that I take to all of my uh, shows and I mix videos so that the clients see that and they come up and say, hey, I didn't know you do that. I wanna hire you for my daughter's party. And it's just a 24 inch screen that I bring along and uh, drums up a lot of interest. Anyway, so let's get back to this. Let's get this sucker mounted up there now. All right. Okay, so this is something I would never recommend for you guys to do yourself. If you do, you're doing it at your own risk. I would never try to <laughs> tell you that you should do it. So check with your doctor. You know, some of these screens can be pretty heavy. Um, this screen's about five years old, so it's not the lightest LCDs that are out there. Uh, some of the newer ones are super light now. Uh, it's only 37 inch and uh, I can do this myself. Well, here we go. Now, you don't wanna put it up too high because it'll be top heavy. And for right now, I think I'm just gonna mount it I'm just it out of my way so I don't break my neck on it. Let's see. Well, we kind of want to get it up high enough where it just makes sense to have it there, but... Yeah. This isn't going to be something I can really do on my own. <laughs> and it's not that I can't do it. It's just that I need a third arm. You also have to be careful of these, because if they're in the way, then you can't operate it properly. Okay, so get the first clamp on there. Make sure your lock washer and your flat washers are out of the way and lock it in place. And there you go, there's number one. It's always good to have second set of hands. Trust me on that one. Okay, we're going to cinch it down really good. Okay, we're going to move on to number two. I don't want to pinch your fingers either. Okay. The cross bars or the cross members or whatever you want to call them can get in the way sometimes. So you got to really know the position you want it in. Okay, that seems to be good, but I'm not going to cinch it down yet until I get out the, the level. You can use a level like this, you know, if you don't want to carry this great big monstrosity. But since the TV is long, and this gives me a better measurement and to make sure that it's nice and level. And it is perfectly level. So now I can go ahead and cinch it down all the way. But first, before I do that, let's, we're going to tighten the, the actual mounting bracket that goes directly to the truss. We're going to tighten that down as tight as possible first. And then we're going to leave the ones on the TV a little bit loose so that they can 
the TV can slide naturally into the position that you want it in. Which is going to be kind of at a downward angle once we pull the ladder out. Let's go ahead and do that. See, now that's going to obviously be too much of an angle. So we might either want to go up with it or just tighten it where it should be, which is what I'm going to do about right here. Yeah, you can put something in the way in between to keep it from moving like it is right now. Put a little piece of something in the way. But I think that once I tighten this one down, it's really not going to move. And there you have it. DJ Rude shows you how to improvise when you have a TV that's a little smaller than uh, like a 52 or a 50 inch and the bolt patterns are so close together that they will bump into the bars here so we have to spread them out like we did here with this piece of wood. Now just keep in mind this is only temporary. Do not use a piece of wood. I wanted to do this video and I wanted to try this out so I didn't have a piece of wood. But this is what we've got. Let's go ahead and come over here and this is what it is. Let's get the ladder out of the way. And there you have it. Now you might want to anchor it down with sandbags if you got a bunch of rambunctious kids running around. Who knows? Or even a drunk person at your wedding or whatever. It could be heavy. I mean, if you can see, it does tip a little bit. And down there, I'll put a truss warmer. One of my uh, Mega Tripar profiles will look really nice in there. So there you have it. DJ Rude shows you how to improvise and mount your LCD or plasma screen onto a GT plasma mount from Global Trust. That would be the Global, Global Trust Plasma MT12 kit, as you can see here. And it ranges about six, seven hundred dollars. You might be able to find it on sale online. But uh, it's very awesome, very sweet. DJ Rude. Peace. Keep spinning.